Okay, so welcome back guys. So in this particular section, we are going to be looking at how to build a beautiful quiz application. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the application so that we can have a glimpse of what it looks like. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and run our quiz app, which is this. Alright, so this is the splash screen and boom, we are into the app. So as you can see, the app is very simple and straight to the point. It simply allows us to take quiz on various topics so we have like six topics here history geography space engineering programming and business so the first thing we are required to do when we get into the app is to select a topic of our choice so we can either select the topic here or we can pull up the navigation drawer and select the topic here so let's say for instance we are interested in taking the quiz for history so we can either click history here and it will take us to the description of what we are to expect in the history quiz so if we want to go back we can easily use the back button to get back so let's say we are changing our mind to something of geography so i can also get to geography by selecting it here so it's that simple so after selecting the history quiz and the next thing will be to go ahead and read what the history quiz is made of like what is all about now we can go ahead and start our quiz so our quiz is actually time-based. As you can see, we have only two minutes to complete our quiz. And also we have only five questions. We can actually increase this if we will to. So I'm going to go ahead and start answering the question before I run out of time. So I select option one as the answer to this. And it appears that I'm wrong. So it will tell me that the correct answer is 1960s. It will go ahead and show me the right answer. And I can go ahead and proceed to the next question. Alright, so it seems that I'm correct. Okay, it seems I'm wrong. Oh, it seems that I'm wrong again. Okay, so it seems I'm correct. So, at the end of the quiz, we managed to only get 2 over 5 as our result. So, the remark I get from this result is that, so sad, you didn't make it. You can try again later. So at this point, we only have the choice to go back to the main page. So to do that, I'll go ahead and click on go home. Boom. So now we are at the main page and we can go ahead and select a new topic if we still want to take more tests. So this is basically what our quiz app is going to be doing. So after building this app, you will understand more about activity and activity lifecycle, how to pass data from one activity to the other, the MVC architecture, and how to build a real-world and functional Android application. I'm really excited to show you how to build this beautiful app. So if you're excited as I am, now head over to the next video so we can get started.